Chappie, now uh, to see Ava on the way in? No, I did not, but I did talk to your mother about Spencer's hearing. And? She on her way home? Uh, no, unfortunately, she can't get away just yet, but she was very clear about how she feels what should happen today. We're about to get started. I, I need to know, what's your plea? Come on, Spence, we've been over this. I want to make sure that I'm dealing with the right information here. If I plead guilty or no contest, the judge will ask me if anyone is forcing me to make that plea correct. Strictly pro forma, they just want to make sure that you understand the situation. Uh, look, I'm sorry, I have dozens of other cases to handle today, so what's your plea? Hold on, Spencer, uh, before you answer that. Are you sure that someone isn't pressuring you into doing the wrong thing? My father decided to raise the stakes. What does that mean? He put Ava in control of my trust fund. If I accept their marriage and agree to live by their rules, then Ava and my father will make the charges go away. But Ava is still in control of all of my money. Look, Ava's not my favorite person either. And I would hate having to live by her rules and knowing that she had control over my money. But here's the thing, Spencer, I didn't stalk her and I'm not facing criminal charges. So if giving in to your dad and Ava is what it takes for them to help you, then that's what you should do. Right. Yeah, that's what, that's what Esme was saying. Hmm. Well, it looks like for once we're all in agreement. If you're telling me my mother is too busy to attend this morning's arraignment, I'm disappointed, but I can understand. But she's honestly too busy to even call me? I can't speak to your mother's exact schedule, but we did talk about Spencer's behavior. And yours. My behavior? This is about Spencer stalking Ava. Laura doesn't condone what Spencer did. Or what drove him to that point. Everyone, please take your seats. Shall we? Mm -hmm. 